Volkswagen has made a lot of fuss about its future being an electric one. And even though the Australian arm of the company really hasn't gone down that hybrid route quite yet, they tell us never say never. We're in Europe for the Paris Motor Show, so we thought we'd grab one of their latest hybrid products just to give it a try. This is the Golf GTE. Volkswagen's strategy for the GTE, which is currently only sold in Europe, is pretty straightforward. It wants to convince people that hybrids are cool. The GTE takes many cues from the famous GTI model, including its tartan seats and its badging. Only they're done in hybrid blue to let people know that it's a plug-in version. It's powered by a combination of a 1.4 litre turbocharged four-cylinder petrol engine and a small electric motor that sits at the front wheels. And it's all backed by a six-speed DSG gearbox. Both engines combine to give the car 150 kilowatts of power and a pretty impressive 350 newton meters of torque, all driving through the front wheels. It'll do 50 kilometers on battery power alone, and the GTE's batteries can be recharged by plugging the car into a wall socket or simply by driving it around. And if you're looking to set a new fuel consumption record for your trip to work, how does 1.8 litres per 100 kilometres grab you? Bear in mind though, you'd have to be trying really hard to achieve that number. And the GTE really doesn't mind a bit of a fang now and again. I guess the most amazing thing about the Golf GTE is that it's kind of normal. Sure, there's a little bit of a pep in its step thanks to that electric motor and that 1.4 litre turbo engine combo. There's a few extra buttons to access the hybrid mode or the full electric mode. And there's a really cool GTE button, which kind of just wakes everything up and turns it into a bit more of a sports car. But really, it just kind of feels like a warmed up Golf. There are a couple of compromises, of course. You can't have everything for nothing. The boot is a lot shallower thanks to all the electronic gubbins that are hidden in the boot. And the electric range of 50 kilometers is not really 50 kilometers if you account for hills, extra load, a hot day, that kind of thing. But really, driving the Golf GTE is absolutely no different to driving a regular Golf. Look, let's face it, Volkswagen can use all the positive environmental spin it can get at the moment, and it's got it right here in the GTE. It performs almost as well as a Golf GTI, it uses less fuel, puts out less emissions, and does the job just like a Golf. Volkswagen tells us that this particular one won't make it down under, but when the Golf 8 is launched in a couple of years, you can expect to see a hybrid version on Australian roads. And to read the full review, you can click on the link right here.